Thank you uh, so much, uh, President Boudreau and Dean Freeman for your lovely words to the graduates. Thank you, Vincent, for that um, uh, very personal introduction. I, I share those, those feelings of, of warmth and, and uh, I hope that the graduates of uh, this inaugural class of the CUNY, CUNY School of Medicine don't feel that they were punished twice by having to listen to <laughs> my words uh, two times. So, um, uh, but again, I'm, I'm thrilled to be with you today. I bring my, my dear most congratulations to the inaugural class of the CUNY School of Medicine. I was deeply moved last month um, by your virtual celebration, and I am so honored to be with you today as our first 46 CUNY MDs received their degrees take the Hippocratic Oath and move ahead to the challenges and opportunities of this difficult and unprecedented time. Um, and I also hope to bring some comic relief as you see my mortarboard uh, appear and disappear in, um, in the screen. So my, my apologies for the technical difficulties. I also want to welcome our our State Health Commissioner, Dr. Howard Sucker, and thank him for his invaluable guidance this past few months and for showing us in real time the impact of those who are dedicated to protecting and strengthening the public health, just as our new graduates will be. I also like to thank Dr. Jonathan Woodson, a distinguished member of the first graduating class of Sophie Davis who joins us today as the keynote speaker, and I look forward to hearing his remarks. I also want to acknowledge the other special guests who will be celebrated in this ceremony, uh, particularly my dear friends, Dr. Richard Izquierdo and Paloma Izquierdo Hernandez. Es un placer compartir esta ceremonia con dos buenos amigos and two individuals who've done so much for public health in New York City and particularly in underserved communities like the Bronx. The circumstances for this great celebration, of course, are not what any of us could have envisioned for this first School of Medicine commencement. But this is still a very much a magical moment for you and for CUNY. And I have to admit that today, like it happens every time when I have the joy to participate at a commencement, I get boost, goosebumps from listening to Pomp and Circumstance and the processional uh, music that begins these ceremonies. And today, even in this virtual uh, setting, I was also moved by, uh, by that music. Nothing can diminish the power of this great achievement, the pride you should feel in getting here, and the weight of the contributions you will be making in the years ahead. In a way, this unusual ceremony is symbolic because you're joining the medical profession where nothing is the same, an unprecedented time when the skills, philosophy, and values that define the CUNY School of Medicine are needed more than ever. You have made it through seven challenging years of education and training, and you can now call yourself doctors. Congratulations are also in order for the faculty and the leadership and for the City College. I want to thank President Boudreau for his great commitment to the School of Medicine and Dean Friedman and her team for their leadership and guidance in helping the students and the school reach this outstanding milestone. The entire CUNY community salutes you and is proud of all of you. The CUNY School of Medicine is truly New York City's medical school a school that reflects the deeply rooted social and public interest mission of our great university. Many of you chose this medical school even before it was a medical school because and precisely because of that mission. Many of you grew up in neighborhoods where you experienced disparities in health firsthand. Some in communities where you rarely saw doctors who looked like you. What you found at CUNY was a medical school with a genuine regard for the socioeconomic factors of healthcare and a focus on addressing them. We celebrate the commitment you're making, not just to a career, but to a life dedicated 
to improving the lives of others. As you know, the coronavirus pandemic is having a disproportionate impact on, on people in underserved communities. And this situation highlights the very disparities that the school was created to address. You will be on the front battles of this pandemic as you put resources in the areas where they needed the most. I'm proud that many of you have already been doing that as volunteers at San Bernabas, Jacoby, and the Staten Island Medical Centers. You worked on COVID floors. You stepped in to help with the crush of patients using telehealth. You provided vital support to the city's healthcare networks by pouring over the fast changing science on coronavirus and keeping frontline medical staff informed in real time. I know that the coronavirus is hitting some of you personally in your families, but the fact that you're willing to put your own safety on the line to care for people who need you is a testament to your dedication and courage and to the success of the CUNY Medical School and its mission. So congratulations to you. Congratulations to your families who have supported you on your quest and who share the joy of this triumphant day. On behalf of the City University of New York, we send you off with immense pride and, highest, and the highest hopes and confidence that you will make a huge difference in the health and well-being of our communities, our city, and the nation. Congratulations again. All the best. Un abrazo. Thank you.